extra time. I am joined by someone who the Indians will be wary about. I am joined by Neil Wagner and he will have Trent Bolt, the likes of Trent Bolt, Team Saudi, Kyle Jamison. So that will be a hell of an attack going into the Hadley Oval Test match. So Neil, so all geared up to go against the Indians? Yeah, looking forward to it. It's nice to be back at the team and uh, obviously they get the opportunity again um, to, to play a Test match is always a, a very Big honour and a privilege, and uh, I look forward to, to playing India. They, uh, uh, you know, a very good team, and um, yeah, obviously, hopefully, we can have another good result against them. Obviously, the con comprehensive performance by the Black Caps against in the first Test had um, best in result. So, um, do you see the Indians coming back strongly in this Test match at Hagley Oval? Yeah, no doubt. They, you know, a number one team for a reason. Um, they've played well uh, at home and away um, for a number of years now. So. Uh, no doubt that they'll come back stronger, but for us too is to, to do what we've done in, in Wellington and even better and keep uh, striving to, to obviously do um, what we've done well in our own conditions for a long period of time. So uh, look forward to the challenge. We know they're going to come back stronger, but hopefully we can continue the good work that the guys have done. Emotions having to relinquish your place inside, but for the good news of the, the birth of your daughter. Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, yeah, I, if she was going to be early I, and hopefully there on Monday, um, I would have definitely been there. Uh, with the team, but so be it. She wanted to try and uh, stay a little bit longer, um, and yeah, give her dad a little bit of hard time. So uh, it's one of those things. But I wouldn't change it for anything else in the world. It was uh, amazing to be there for the birth of my first child, and, and to be there with my wife and, and support her all the way. Who's been uh, phenomenal, and amazing throughout my career. To be able to to yeah be there for her as well and support her with us is uh, yeah pretty special. And I wouldn't change it for anything else. Yeah, you didn't try to hurry her along or anything. <laughs> yeah, we tried everything we could, but she uh, she definitely didn't want to yeah budge. So it's something. Yes, I, I'm uh, we've now, without a doubt she'll hear on uh, 21st and her wedding day. I'll rem remind her about it. But um, no, I'm very happy. It was uh, amazing to be there and a part of it. Um, and like I said, uh, every first time dad will, will know what it's like and, and to be there with uh, you know for the birth of his first child is a is a special thing and um, yeah something I'll never regret. Yeah. The uh, the team's performance and the, the ease to a certain extent of the victory, did that surprise you? No, you can't really say that. I think um, I think we've been a really a good force and a good team in our own conditions, but I think you know the, the cricket we've played throughout a number of years now and uh, for you know a big part has been um, has been really you know good cricket and everyone has sort of showed that over a long period of time. I think sometimes you can look back in the last sort of series in Australia which has sort of overshadowed that a little bit. Um, it is tough to go overseas and, and play against some good opposition and it just showed again with India being number one team in the world, come to our shores and play here. Yeah, it is tough, it's not never easy but you do expect them to bounce back and be a lot better again in the second test but also doesn't take away from the class performance that the guys put up uh, in Wellington. Um, from like I said, Kyle Jamieson coming in, doing what he did on debut, uh, Colin DeGrande, um, the, you know, the innings he played and the way the guys played and, and very much so with Tim and Trent uh, looking in full swing and great rhythms. I thought, uh, you know, very stoked for Timmy to be able to get the, the rewards from the hard work he's put in the whole summer. Uh, there's a lot of periods where he's bowled with, you know, a lot of uh, long, hard, tough overs into the wind and I've got all the success and Timmy didn't also get that rewards or um, the success from the other end. Um, he's finally re reaped the rewards that uh, he finally, finally deserves. So I was very happy um, sitting there in hospital watching and, and seeing him get that reward that he that he deserved. And yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting back to the boys, you know, uh, do my bit. Um, uh, obviously bring a lot of energy to the group, but um, just looking forward to, to do the best that I can it's the best of my ability to contribute in whichever way I can. Did you watch the Indian batsmen closely and, and sense any uh, weaknesses you could try and uh, expose in their batsmen because they didn't particularly like the short ball with the ball bouncing in Wellington? You know, it's obviously tough for them um, to come over here where there's bounce and a bit more pace. They obviously play in conditions in India where there's not that much bounce and, and pace around. So it is something new for them to adapt to. Um, no doubt they'll obviously work hard in this week to obviously, uh, you know, come harder against it and they'll be better for it um, but hopefully we can obviously keep the squeeze on and, and bowl the way they, the boys bowl in Wellington and if we can keep I guess obviously piling that pressure on uh, we'll make uh, the job obviously a lot easier for ourselves but there's a lot of hard work still to be done uh, I think that performance the guys put up in Wellington was an exceptional performance and that just uh, puts the, obviously the stepping stone down for, for what we obviously got to keep doing and, and even be better with and, and crush us this week.
Uh, Neil, we know uh, the team's spoken a bit about the support you guys had in Australia at the MCG. We know a few of those students uh, who were University of Canterbury students who we are today and they might be long on Saturday. Can you tell us a bit about what that support was like and how good it might be to have that kind of support in New Zealand? Amazing. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps now just thinking back at it. Um, yeah, regardless of the result, which is obviously a bit disappointing, but the support was, uh, was amazing. Um, that whole MCG, just hearing everyone, the, the singing, the chanting and the noise, um, I definitely know it helped me. I was pretty knackered and pretty sore uh, during some parts of that test match and, and that crowd definitely just you know lifted you that another notch and, and definitely helped you along the way. So hopefully if the students are around they can you know jump right back on it and uh, it'll be awesome to see them in Hagley and, and hopefully another you know couple of chants and, and songs along with it. Um, it definitely gets everyone involved in it and it's, it's not just that but it's also uh, pretty exciting for the kids and, and gets kid, kids involved and I guess that, that dream for the next uh, Next kid to be the next Kyle Jameson or the next um, you know Black Cap to come through and, and do what, they, what all the boys have done. So um, hopefully we do see him around. It'll be pretty awesome and uh, yeah, definitely be there for the boys. So yeah, look forward to it. Talking about Neil Wagner's performance against the Indians, 2014. You remember Eden Park, Auckland? Yes. It was your bowling that dented India's chances of um, uh, clinching a win. Yeah. So you took eight wickets in that match. Yeah, uh, it's a fond memory. Um, I think it's sort of where. I guess my career sort of kick-started and, and a good highlight of my career. Um, uh, I love that game. It was a, a very passionate and a very exciting uh, test match against India. And um, yeah, it was one of uh, my first victories as well. So uh, yeah, love that moment. It's a, a very fond memory, but don't want to sort of dwell on the past too much. Um, yeah. Got to focus on, on you know what's ahead of us and a completely different team and a, and a long time ago as well. So um, yeah try and take the positives with that and, and look forward to the challenge that's going to come this week. Last couple of obviously, talk us about your um, combination with Trent Bolt because together with Trent Bolt you form a very potent bowling and bowling they say that fast bowler hunt in pairs. Yeah, oh massive, I mean it's not only Trent Bolt, I think um, Tim Salvi and, and Colin DeGrano and this week as well that's gone by Kyle Jamison, the, the, the fast bowling group uh, and in the past Matt Henry as well, the guys you know, as, a, as a fast bowling group we've bowled really well and bowl well in partnerships and it's the same now and some days you might be the one who takes the wickets and other days it's going to be some of the other guys and it swings around uh, I guess in roundabouts and we know that as a team um, but yeah for us it's just to, to do the best you can and, and contribute to be the team on the day and we know if we, we bowl in partnerships that we can create that pressure over a long period uh, we'll be obviously a good force to reckon with so hopefully we can continue that. Hopefully Olivia brings you luck in this test match at Hagley Over. Thank you very much thanks mate appreciate that. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.